Hey everyone, this is going to be a video uh, describing how to automatically import financial statements for any stock you want uh, and how to automate it on Excel using VBA macros. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is inputting a ticker symbol right here, something like MSFT for Microsoft. And then what we'll do is hit, we'll have a button over here you can click that says go or something and it'll import a, a uh, income statement income statement, a balance sheet, and a statement of cash flows. And I'll just call that cash flows. So it'll impor import the, the big three financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement um, from the inputs here. And the input really for right now is just going to be uh, the ticker symbol. Later we can kind of upgrade this program to do, um, you can set a specific date, or you can do quarterly versus annual, or you can import uh, just one of the three or two of the three and not all three of them. We'll do a bunch of updates in the uh, sequel video to this. But the first one, um, the first for, for this video specifically, we're just gonna do run this, click a button, import those three financial statements. So the first thing we're gonna need to do um, is uh, get the URL for where that data is gonna come from. And we're gonna do that through Yahoo Finance. Um, so what I did is I just pulled up Yahoo Finance and I searched Microsoft. Um, and you can click on quarterly if you want quarterly data, or you can do annual if you want annual data. Uh, the only difference in the URL is one will say annual and one won't. Um, so I'm going to use the annual one for right now. I'm going to copy it. You can do Control C to copy. And then we're going to go back here, and we're going to need. So this is the income statement. So I'm going to start on the income statement page. I'm going to hit Record Macro. I'm going to call this Financial financial statements uh, with no space um, and the reason I'm calling it financial statement and not income statement is because this one macro is going to pull all three of the financial statements so this will pull all three financial statements for a given ticker symbol so the user is going to input any ticker symbol they want and it'll pull all three of those financial statements now hit OK we're recording so I'm going to go over to data and we're going to get uh, external data because we're going to be pulling uh, data from outside of Excel from the web specifically Yahoo so I'm going to double click on that and then paste the Yahoo uh, URL hit go and then a bunch of little pop-ups will show up I'm just gonna hit yes and yes and continue 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 yes again they're kind of annoying there we go okay so we have this uh, uh, Internet Explorer window open. And I'm going to click on the yellow uh, arrow right here and it's going to highlight just the income statement. If I wanted the word income statement or um, any other information, I can click on other arrows. Uh, but I don't. I only want this. If you don't see the arrows for some reason, this button up here turns them on and off. So you want them to click that until it's on. Then click that to make it a green check. Then you can hit import. We want it on cell A1 of the income statement because this is the income statement. Hit OK. And it imported. Great. So I'm going to go back to developer and hit stop recording. And I'm going to edit my macro. So if I click macros and edit. Uh, so now it pulls up. And this is the code that says import this URL, data from this URL, at destination range A1. And so uh, that's awesome if we always wanted Microsoft's data and we always wanted it annual and we only wanted the income statement and not any of the other three statements or any other stock. So we're going to want to make sure that this is uh, customizable so we can put in um, some other ticker symbol here and get other data from it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, assign a variable here. So the first thing I need to do is uh, declare a variable. So what variable am I going to use? I'm going to declare in memory ticker because I want to use a ticker symbol as a string because a string is a series of characters, a series of letters or numbers or symbols in a row and a ticker symbol is literally just that, it's a string of characters. Um, so what? So first I declare it, that's what the dim means, it's declaring in memory ticker. And then I need to initialize it, which means I need to assign ticker a value. Uh, because right now it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't represent anything until I say that ticker equals uh, sheets inputs dot cells two comma one. And so what that's saying is ticker is going, what is ticker going to be? I don't know what it is. It's actually going to be what's on sheet input and it's going to be in cells 
the cell that is row two, column one, which is row two, column one, that's A2. Uh, you could also put range A2 if you wanted, uh, but I like the cells version, so I'm gonna say ticker is um, sheets inputs cells two one. And now I need to import data from, rather than from Microsoft, I wanna import from whichever ticker I assigned. So I highlight MSFT and I put quote and and quote and then go put some spaces between those quotes and type ticker. So that's the variable. So we got the variable ticker is going to be uh, whatever's in this space. So right now it's Microsoft, so it'll be the same thing if I don't change it. But I can put G-O-O-G-L for Google, or I can put L-U-V for Southwest Airlines, uh, anything like that. So if I run this right now, it's going to pull data and put it into this page. Uh, the problem is it's going to not erase the old data. It's just going to keep pulling more and more data in. Um, and so in order to avoid that, I need to go to sheets income statement. Dot, uh, I'll start with dot select and then do cells dot clear. And the reason I do that is because I want to go to this sheet and then delete the cells or delete whatever information is there so that I can import new data. If I don't go to the sheet first, um, then I can't import the data to it. So I need to make sure that I'm on that sheet when I do the import. So I go ahead, I'm just gonna run this one first. So I'll run it, perfect. So it imported the data, it looks like it worked. Um, but that's great for just the income statement, but I need to do it for um, all three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna highlight from sheets all the way down to end with. And I'm gonna copy, control C, or copy, um, and then enter a couple times and then I will do control V and so this one's going to be the balance sheet balance sheet um, IS is going to be income oops IS is going to be BS ticker great um, and then we can go down here and do one more and do control V and now income statement instead of balance sheet or income statement it's going to be cash flows and then IS is going to be CF Oops. Um, and then all of these still use ticker destination a1 and we don't have to worry to, about uh, the range being on the wrong sheet because we're already selecting the cash flows sheet uh, before we pull the data in so it's range a1 of the balance sheet BS perfect so then I'm gonna go ahead and run the whole macro we can see it jump through each of these and all the data is there uh, so let's run it under a different ticker real quick. So I'm going to put LUV, and then I'm going to insert, oops, turn off, insert a button right here that links to financial statement macro. Hit OK. And then if I click the button, let's look. So we got, yep, so that's different data than it was under Microsoft. So perfect. So they have uh, all their assets. And so this is the balance sheet, uh, changes in incomes and um so that's our cash flow statement and our income statement. We already know is correct, but I'll look at it again. Is we have the profit and loss, so that's the income statement. So that's everything there. Um, on the next video to this one, I'll do a, a, a how to do um, financial statements number two, and we'll put in um, some check boxes so you can decide if you don't want all three of them, or we can put in um, some extra coding to uh, make the macro run faster, or we can do uh, specific dates. So if you don't want um, all three years you can get rid of two of them and just get the most recent year or you can do quarters instead of uh, annual um, so we'll add all those to the next uh, version the next video but this one is just the basics on how to pull in data and so you can see that it runs and it works just fine um, so that's that and uh, thanks for watching hope that helps with uh, any projects you're working on if you have any questions feel free to comment below or send me an email um, and if you need me to help you with any uh, pro Excel project that you're working on. Um, I do this for a living too. So go to my website. It'll be in the description below um, and you can book me to work on help you work on your projects as well. So that's that and uh, thanks for watching.